Hello fellow chart watchers. Today I'm going to show you some of the new features in the 2.0 version of our chart notes annotation tool. As you probably know, chart notes is the tool that you use to add annotations like trend lines and text notes to your charts. Stock charts members can also upload their annotated charts into their account and then watch as their annotations update over time. Recently, we've released the 2.0 version of chart notes. The 2.0 version includes additional line studies and annotation tools that you can use to create even more powerful charts. The new line studies include speed resistance lines, Fibonacci fan lines, quadrant lines, Fibonacci time zones, triangle shapes, Elliott wave annotations, arrowheads on trend lines, and more. Let's look at some of these in action. So here is Chart Notes 2.0 running in my browser. Just like with our previous version of Chart Notes, all of the drawing tools are located at the top of the chart and the various style buttons are along the left side of the chart. Most of the new features are located on buttons that are hidden underneath the normal drawing tools. To see them, simply click on the related drawing tool and a set of additional buttons will pop out for you to use. For example, clicking on the Fibonacci Lines button will cause the new Fibonacci tools to appear below that main button. Let's add some Fibonacci arcs to our chart. After selecting the tool, it is simply a matter of clicking and dragging with the mouse to create the arcs. As soon as the mouse is released, the arcs are added. Similarly, we can select the Triangle Shape tool, which is located under the standard Rectangle Shape tool, and then add a triangle to our chart. There, that looks pretty good. So now you have a pretty good idea of how to access all of the new line studies and drawing tools that we've added. Let's now look at the new Elliott Wave Annotation Tool. The Elliott Wave Tool lets you quickly add the standard 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ABC style Elliott Wave notations to any chart by using simple mouse clicks. You start by selecting the style of the Elliott Wave notation from the pullout under the tool. Next, you move your mouse to where you want the 1 notation to appear, and then click. Now move to where the 2 should be and click again. And so on, and so on, and so on. It's important to understand that the Elliott annotations you are creating are simply normal text annotations. That means that once the Elliott annotations are on your chart, you can edit them if you want by simply selecting them and typing. You can also use the style buttons on the left side of the chart to change the color or style. The last thing I want to show you is something very simple but very cool. With Chart Notes 2.0, you can now hold down the shift key and click on a trend line to add an arrowhead to the end of that line. This will help you point out interesting areas of your chart easily and dramatically. So there you go. By taking advantage of these new Chart Notes 2.0 features, you can create charts that are even more powerful, charts that can help you make better investing decisions. Thanks for watching.